Hello and welcome! Let's talk about how to insert watermarks in your art or images with Canva. Canva is a free graphic design tool that will help you create stunning social media posts, flyers, and anything creative that you can think of. If you're building or planning to build a website, start by watermarking all of your work first. Please don't skip this important step to add a protection layer to your art. Before going to Canva, first organize your pictures in one folder on your computer. You will see why later on. First, let's go to Canva.com and select the sign up link, which is also below the description of this video. Or you just log in if you already have an account. Canva is so flexible that you can just type on the top search bar, what do you want to create? And it will give you the measurements right away. This time though, we are using your images. So go for create a design on top and then edit photo. You can immediately upload from your computer all of the images from the folder we created earlier. Now we are going to select edit photo to start adding the watermarks to this image. Your images have to be less than 25 megabytes, but if yours is way bigger than that, don't worry. You just have to take a screenshot of it, replace your image, and it should work. Get a screenshot of the art by pressing Command, then Shift, and number four on your Mac, or use the Snipping Tool or Microsoft Paint available in Windows. Both are free and they should work just fine. Let's click on the picture and on top, change the name first on the top right hand corner by just double clicking it and writing over it. For this tutorial, we'll rename the file as new watermark image. Notice that you can't crop the image when you choose the edit photo, but we can flip it and adjust the brightness and colors. Now let's add the text of the watermark by double-clicking on the text of your choice on the left side. Let's change the color in this area. Uh, we pick gray and increase the font size. If you change your mind, you can select the text drop-down and experiment with different ones. To undo, you can actually press Ctrl-Z. Let's make the font a little bigger by using the drop-down menu or by expanding the corner. So let's go ahead and rename the text to watermark. Also, you can add patterns with the text by typing pattern background on the search bar under elements. If you want to add the copyright mark, just type the copyright and search for it under Elements. Double-click on the one that you like to insert it in Canva. I uploaded my logo first, then went to Uploads and added my logo next to the copyright mark, just to show you an example. Then change the copyright color to gray and grouped it with the logo by selecting them together. Click group on top and this way you can align and copy them faster. Also they could be resized and rotated together. This is now an important tip. When designing the watermark, aim for something not too dark but at the same time big enough to make it obvious. In short, Look for harmony somehow in this part. 
There are many ways to add different watermarks. We pick just three for now. The first way is to add patterns and your name on top of the art. The second way is to add your name or your brand name all along the art. Notice the rotation too and resizing the text by stretching it from one of the corners. The third way is to just add a big watermark. It is really up to you which one looks the best. There is no right or wrong, so experiment with these options. You can change the angle by turning the little circle with arrows around it until you get the angle that you need. Let's adjust the transparency of the letters by clicking on the little three dots on the right hand corner and then go to the transparency tool. Take your time until you get the right look. Once you're happy with your design, duplicate it by clicking on it and press the plus sign to copy away. All right, to see how everything is looking, zoom on your image by pressing the control key and plus sign or adjust it with the zooming tools on the lower right hand corner below. You can leave the image as is or as a bonus tip, you can insert a picture frame in Canva. Let's type picture frame on the search bar and use one of the free versions by applying a filter on it. Click apply filters and search. Let's double click on your favorite one and drag the picture inside the frame. Now, once you have finished the watermarks, Simply download the art using the download link and press the PNG option for your website or digital version. But you can also get a PDF version of this art as well. Well, thankfully, we can now edit PDF files in Canva with the exact same steps we watched throughout this video. One final tip is to make sure that you can create a subfolder on your computer only for the images with the watermarks. That way you can upload them on your website so much faster. If you enjoyed these tips, remember to subscribe and like. What other things would you like to learn from Canva? Go ahead and comment below. Thank you so much.